all learn things through our lives in several ways. Uh, when you're young, you put your finger on the hot stove and, and you've learned there not to ever do it again. And then, uh, you know, down the road, teachers are paid to teach us. And sometimes it's all a little more complicated. Well, yesterday I was out on the deck about sundown with a glass of red wine, and I recalled a lesson of the complicated kind. I think it was 1984. George Bush was the George Bush the elder. He was campaigning for president, and I was serving with the Texas State Legislature as chairman of the elections committee. Though George Bush was living in Houston. He used a hotel um, room as his home address, and here lies the story. Because I was 32, ambitious, and in a hurry, I caved in to my Democratic colleagues in the House and filed a lawsuit against Bush, alleging he had no legal residency in Houston. Though the lawsuit went nowhere, I've always carried some guilt and regret for my actions as they were hurtful to both Barbara and George, as I've come to discover. Retiring uh, to Houston after presidency, I would see, see Barbara and George every Astros game that I went to in Houston. Also, at my alma mater, as, as, as they chose Texas A&M University for his presidential library and museum, and boy did I love my A&M. Though I had some chances to apologize to Bush for the lawsuit that when I saw him at A&M. I never did it though. There's a lesson there that I was too chicken and never had the guts to tell him and Barbara that I was sorry before they passed. That's a lesson I've learned the hard way, that life is too short to keep things on your chest. What I mean to say is they knew my name and when we'd be at Aggie Land, they'd say, hey, hey, Clint, but they didn't remember or know that, that I was the young legislator that filed the lawsuit.